Whatever you're looking for, it's here in Mzansi. Welkom terug, jy is terug by jou goed voel aan buit program, dit is Expresso hier op SABC3. En soos jylle weet het ons in al Zuid-Afrika plat getuur op soek na daar die versteekte juwele en that is exactly what we have found, so many hidden gems. And recently I got the opportunity to travel all the way to KwaZulu-Natal and I found a very interesting hidden gem of my own. It is a curry named Mother-in-Law Exterminator and I have the recipe right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it right there, there you can see you need exactly four teaspoons Mother-in-Law, just like that. And I'm going to put it on here to keep the peace between myself and my mom-in-law, which is currently visiting with me. And it's also actually Mother-in-Law Day on Sunday. Yes, there's an actual day like that. So let's go check out where this curry got its name from on my Vayam Zanzi adventure to Kwazulu Natal. Durban in the Zulu Kingdom is known for its great weather all year round. They say it only has two seasons, summer and summer. Local and international tourists flock to its beautiful beaches. For my Vayam Zanzi It's Here adventure, I'm spending some time in the beautiful KwaZulu-Natal Durban, where I'm uncovering all those hidden little gems. With the biggest Indian community outside of India living in Durban, the best place to come and visit is the Victoria Street Market, otherwise known as the Vic. It's very popular amongst both international and local travelers, and it's known as an emporium, where you can literally buy anything and everything. Situated on the corner of Queen and Victoria Streets, it's rather like stepping into another world. The Vic, as the market is also known, was first opened in the 1870s. Chanusha, give me a bit of a history on your shop because I walked in here and it seems like you have been here for quite a while. You're very, very organized. It's a very long time, actually the third generation. As you can see, that's my dad. My dad's family, the Kanda family, initially started off this business. They came from India more than 150 years as indentured laborers, so obviously they needed to sell their wares. That's when they started off the market. And to this day, this business is the way it is because of my dad. Well, I'm very interested to see what spices you have here and all the interesting names that you have. Let me show you the mother-in-law exterminator spice. Are you ready? I can't wait to oh, see okay, it. Okay, my darling. This should be interesting. <laughs> Mixing the perfect combination of masalas and spices is an art and is believed to hold many benefits. Curry helps reduce blood sugar, while chili may help burn calories. And the right blend will even soften your mother-in-law's tongue. The mother-in-law is basically the chili-based <laughs> hot curry. Wow. You get two different types of chili. I'm adding your normal chili and a Kashmiri chili that's imported from India. That's just the beginning, darling. Just not, Come here. Not, we're Come not done here. yet. No, sweetheart. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Once tasted, never wasted and never forgotten. Didn't you know that? <laughs> I can see you've been doing this for a while because you know exactly what needs to go in there. And there's already, already like 10 different spices Besides in there. Besides exactly, the quantity. Did you realize And the how... quantity. <laughs> <laughs> so now the only thing left to do is you need to make me this curry. When is dinner at your house? The Indian community in Durban is the largest outside of Asia. You and found the people are as warming and welcome as the weather. That's if you good. want any more, you phone me or you write to me on Srin Posaf Levering Work. <laughs> Posaf Levering Work? Yes, hey, I'll send it to you. You <laughs> ring, we bring. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Cheers. Beside the new friends to be made, there are more than 170 stalls displaying their wares. From saris to fresh produce, the market is open Monday to Saturday from 8 in the morning to 6 in the evening. Ewan stayed only a short hop away at the Benjamin Hotel in Berea. It is one of Durban's historical buildings. Give me a brief background into the history of the Benjamin Boutique Hotel. It's three or four different properties. Um, it was a residential hotel called the Cheltendale, and it basically ran like a boarding establishment. So the current owner then bought it and turned it into the hotel and obviously called it the Benjamin after Sir Benjamin Durban. Its 43 double rooms have all creature comforts, and what's more, it's located right in the pop of Florida Road, the heartbeat of Durban's nightlife. It's been a long day, but it's not over yet. I've freshened up, the night is still young, and I can hear the famous Florida Road calling my name. Florida Road is hailed as Durban's most cosmopolitan hub, and Ewan's first stop was Saar, a venue dedicated to sophistication. Give me a brief history about Tsar, where we are tonight. Well, Tsar before used to be society. Uh, it was all about tapas and sushi, chilled couches, you know, just basically a bit of a snack and all about entertainment. And the whole thing changed. The entertainment was, was getting a bit strict in Florida Road, so we changed the concept to Zar. And that's where we kept the tapas and sushi going, and then we, we put in the whole fine dining feel of, of, of the restaurant downstairs. So we're very accommodating to all our clients. Yes, this is the city's culinary heart, with over 30 restaurants in the bustling historic road 
just walking down the street can be essential pleasure. Guys, I am beat, but this is what you can expect from Durban. Great party spots, a mixture between different cultures, food, spices, and on top of everything else, I'm staying at the most beautiful historical boutique hotel. And if I can give you guys one tip out there is to travel locally. Come to Durban because this is where it's happening. Next time you find yourself planning a holiday or a weekend away, be sure to take a colorful detour to Durban via Mzanzi. It's here. Explore Mzanzi and discover what you're looking for. It's here.